So at first you unscrew these, these washers, get this loose, uh, unplug the yellow terminal wire and the white terminal 4 wire. So now I'll leave the ground wire as is. Got a negative feedback loop. I'll in, uh, unwire that too. I'll unsolder that. Um, so then I can take the stock output transformer from the chassis. Now the secondaries are unsoldered and uh, you can see the four wires here. You clip those two white clips. The one is already loose, that's the second one. And then all my cables will be loose so I can take out, unscrew and take out the, uh, the stock output transformer. These are tiny screws, so one's already loose. Now I'm gonna unbolt the second one, then it's done. So, and here he is, all nice and shiny. And here's the replacement output transformer, a Hammond 125 ESE, proudly made in Canada. So the specs are on the stickers. And this one comes from Mauser, was bought pretty cheaply, uh, some 60 euro. So this will be the new bugger. Next step was to drill a... Uh, a new hole to uh, to hold the output transformer so I bolted it again so now it's fixed got the secondaries going through the through the hole and got my primaries that uh, blue and the bl and the brown cable that I'll uh, get into there uh, also so now the primaries are wired together, they're fixed to the chassis, so now I have to uh, put the plastic, I have to solder it and put the plastic covers over them, so I can uh, attach the, the blue to uh, blue wire to this terminal and the brown wire to this terminal. It's quite a tough job to pry uh, to pry the, uh, the shielding to pry it loose so uh, it worked fine for the blue wire so I reattached it to the blue wire and now I'll solder the lead of the blue wire to the to the metal part so I think it's looking good it's uh, soldered quite nicely and now it can go onto this terminal uh, so still have the plastic so and now it's to this lock nice and tight so uh, here it is that's one wire now uh, I'll repeat the procedure for the blue for the brown wire going to terminal 4 which is this one next step is to wire all the secondaries so uh, yellow goes to the 16 ohm tap green to the 8 ohm orange to the 4 ohm together with my uh, negative feedback loop and black to the ground and this one uh, this ground lead was left in place so uh, when this is wired i can uh, attach those uh, i can attach those speaker output taps again and uh, the mod should be completed so all is soldered then uh, make sure all the wires are uh, pretty neat in the chassis so I use some uh, plastic to uh, tape those wires together um, there's one loose wire, white one so I clipped off the end 
so uh, it shouldn't be able to move anymore. This was uh, attached back to the chassis, it's now uh, fixed, so here's your mod. This is uh, how you change your output stock transformer to a, uh, in this case, a Hammond output transformer.